Well, today is uh, July the 16th, 2022. It is a Saturday. And um, this is my second outing today on the bike. I was going to take a little footage here of uh, West Union for some of uh, my friends who've moved away and uh, old classmates who haven't been around West Union for a while. Uh, and twofold uh, today to t take some footage and then to also try 60 uh, different settings, 60 frames per second, which is a little higher frame rate than what I, uh, what you normally see. Um, I had recently taken some footage on the bike and I wasn't really satisfied with how it looked. It was uh, taken at about 30 frames per second. Anyway, this is 60 frames per second and hopefully it's going to be a little better. Um, this is just some footage around West Union, Iowa. Uh, I just left my place, headed towards, uh, this is the hospital, which is just about a half a block from here. And we'll go around the backside here through the uh, emergency entrance there. Uh, give you kind of a, a uh, look at how, how the emergency entrances of the hospital. And at the end of the road here, leaving the uh, hospital uh, area. Straight ahead is what we used to call the old Fox Place. Uh, straight ahead there. Uh, I used to pick uh, raspberries there with my grandfather. Uh, there was raspberry bushes and this whole parking lot was a um, horse corral. My uncle lived up here in, in what used to be the house here. Now it's a medical supply, uh, but um, Bob Traeger and Bob and Ruth Traeger lived up there with cousin Donnie and Bobby and had horses in the back. Of course, everything's different now. Heading up this incline is uh, we come up to Jefferson Street and uh, off to the right here is where my uh, right here in the blue house where my uh, my friend Dr. Bill Wolf and his his wife Lynn lived uh, and he actually was the doctor that delivered me but we became friends later in life and uh, he was quite the musician and see that bay window there that's where he had his concert grand piano and then he had a beautiful Hammond organ he and I'd play oh, organ and piano duets until three and four in the morning had a lot of fun. Here on the corner is where uh, my buddy uh, Monty Westerfield uh, lived. Uh, in those days it was a big red house and his dad was the editor of the local paper. And I think they used to refer to their place as the big red house. Monty can, can correct me if I'm wrong. Here is where my good friend Teresa Slack grew up. Uh, her, uh, yeah, her parents are uh, going, making a U-turn here. We're going up Jefferson Street. And we'll turn to the left here on, I think that's called Rickle Street. Uh, and we'll head down here by the one of West Union's parks that I have not, I don't think I've uh, highlighted in any of my videos yet. But on the left down here, once we get down here a ways, we'll be at uh, Lions Park. Uh, where we used to romp around when we were kids over here to the left. Kind of a small town park. Uh, and down here to the left, if you look, you see some you know, playground equipment, slides and swings and stuff. Uh, we'll turn right here and uh, show you where my buddy Corky Stair uh, grew up in this house right here. He's now known as Court stair and married to Janet uh, and then up here a ways in the blue house to the right is where that famed songwriter Mark Haynes lived he's the one that wrote co-wrote train track penny and also uh, carry me out to sea and mr. gray which many of you are familiar with we'll go back down here and go down uh, is this Jones Street I think it's called Jones Street right here and uh, 
got a big old house here, and I never have known much background on this big old house, but I've always been thought it was real interesting. It's like a big old mansion. I don't know who used to live there or who currently lives there, but uh, kind of an inter interesting architecture. Down here to the left, uh, a few houses down, is where my mother and grandfather's longtime secretary used to live, Josephine Neal. She worked for my mother and grandfather for over 70 years as a secretary right there. Many, many times my mother, uh, Josephine never drove. My mother always gave her a ride home after work and dropped her off there. Would wait till Josephine got in the house safe and sound and then we'd drive off. I'm gonna take a left down here. I'm gonna kinda drive up this street. What is it? I can't remember what this street is. But we'll turn left here, go up the hill. And I'll show you the old, uh, I think it was Stanmeyer apartments that recently burned. Uh, it was a huge complex, a lot of little houses and apartments all kind of built together. But just recently on the left here, uh, there's not much left of it. I think two of the, two of the structures, they're going to leave and kind of re refurbish or remodel or whatever the term is. Uh, one of them, incidentally, interestingly, right here to the left is where uh, my piano teacher, Barbara Temple, taught. Right? And look in that window there to the left. That's where her studio was. And uh, I went there for many, many years, especially during the high school, junior high and high school years. And here you can you can actually smell some of that burnt smell, but straight ahead that's where you go into Barbara Temple's studio right there, that door. Now we're going to go across the street. And part of this video I'm making for my old classmate or, or my well she's not old she's my age, but Catherine Esty uh, grew up in this house right here. Uh, she and her uh, parents and her two brothers Bob and Steve and uh, th the significance of getting some video of this is I believe they're going to tear this down it was used here in recent years as a kind of office building uh, several offices in there and I'm not 100% sure but I think the bank is going to build here on that site but I thought I'd get some footage there for Catherine to uh one last look before it's gone. Kind of a sentimental footage here. But it's a big old house and uh, that's where she uh, lived in during our high school years. Junior high and high school. She had a big white German Shepherd. I'm trying to think of his name. Catherine, I can hear you telling me right now what it is, long distance, but I can't think. Was it King? I can't remember. But anyway, uh, so that, that'll be torn down. See the big house there, kind of the right. We'll, we'll go down the alley here and then turn to the right and uh, we'll get a, uh, a view of it. That's a big old house that's been featured in several magazines and also I think on some like the History Channel or some cable TV did a piece on this a few years ago. And again, I can't tell you any details. I don't know who lives here, but uh, it's gotten a lot of publicity over the years. Uh, so I know there's a lot of you probably could tell me or telling me right now uh, who lives there and what the history is of it. We'll turn around here and go back this up the street here uh, this building up here to the right used to be the clinic when I was a little kid this building right here and that's where it used to take two doctors and three nurses and my mother to hold me down to give me my polio shots and that's where I probably developed a fear of doctor's offices because to this day whenever I go into a doctor's office my blood pressure goes off the charts 
I guess they call it the white coat syndrome, but uh, it's a real thing, and I think it's because they used to hold me down there and give me shots. Okay, now, this is kind of, this is actually called Vine Street or North Vine Street, and it's kind of our main street. They don't call it Main Street, though, and so here's a lot of the, the businesses. Uh, I won't go into detail the history of all this until we get down here a ways. Now this kind of orangish looking little building here is where my mother and grandfather had their first law office and then they moved I, I don't know what year down to this uh, office right here I'll stop here for a second uh, this is now Dillon Law Pat Dillon and his wife purchased that from me and my sister uh few months ago and I'm so happy they did because they're going to keep this uh, law practice going even though it's now their practice but so glad this building and practice will continue uh, my mother would have liked that uh, as you can see they've it looks real nice they've uh, remodeled it here on the corner here uh, this industrial development or whatever it is is where my uh, Ricky Carbon's dad had a uh, uh, carbons five and dime I think they called it we'll go up here um, sorry to sound so rushed here but just trying to get all this in info in here for those of you who've been out of town for a while we'll go down to the end of this block as you can see the the courthouse square is to the left here right down here this building straight ahead is the uh, used to be the old uh, hospital that's where I was born in this building now it's the what Fayette County Historical Center and next door here is the Wood, Woodland Eye Clinic which I went to last week for the first time that was my first eye checkup in 45 years and I checked out great they said my eyes look good and uh, I actually don't even need glasses to drive but I told them I, I wanted to get some glasses just because I do notice my distance vision is not as good as it used to be so here we have the courthouse and right here in this open spot here used to be the jailhouse where my aunt Mabel and Uncle Fred lived Uncle Fred was a sheriff and the jail was actually part of their residence it was about a two or three story brick residence we I spent a lot of time there's a kid uh, visiting Aunt Mabel who cooked these wonderful meals and rolls and I think I've gone into detail about that and maybe another video here. Uh, gazebo, that's not the original one, but uh, that's one they replaced it with. And kind of a, that used to be to the left, a kind of a fish pond. Again, that's not the original one either. We'll go down the uh, walk here, and I want to show you along this. Um, this street I think this this street is actually called that we'll be getting on here I think is actually called Main Street here we'll just uh, drop down here onto the road and a lot of you who are my age will remember along here to the left used to be the high school in the ju junior high connected buildings now it's what is it a dollar general or a dollar tree that family dollar so I don't quite get that two dollar stores right next to each other but they've just built that not open yet so we'll have to see what that is we'll go down here and about mid block there is a little alley to the left I call it cat alley because you always see a cat nine times out of ten you'll find a cat or two so it's always a necessary little side trip I take just to see the cat so we'll see if there are any cats out here today there used to be some here to the left in this backyard I don't see any today and then off to the right this next place usually a cat over there Let's see if we see any don't see any yet Kitty, kitty, no kitties. 
Okay, and then sometimes there's cats down here on this in this brownish house um, to the right. Uh, there's a Casey's for those of you who remember that as a athletic field behind the school. Now we'll uh, go down to, uh, I think this is West Main Street down here, and then we'll turn left. And head, uh, we're heading north now and go across the highway, which is Highway 18. Got to be careful, look both ways. Wait for the light. See the old elementary school. Mm, I think it. I think it's probably still in the elementary school. And this is, I think, Cedar Street here. We'll go across. Now we're going to go up the alley behind Cook Street. Turn left right here. And this is the street I grew up on. Well, I would say from maybe age three to six, maybe. Uh, this is the house I lived in, this little blue one here to the right. I'd love to go through there again someday just to see if I, what I remember in there. So this is the alley. And uh, up here, just a little ways to the right, is uh, Ricky Carbon's house where he grew up. This one here off to the right. And see that little garage there? Yeah, when he was about 10 years old, we were playing and he jumped off the, that roof <laughs> under the ground. Uh, I think he might have sustained a little bit of an injury to his foot or, or knee or something, but uh, he was pretty resilient. And I could, I could tell you a lot of stories here about these places. Oh, here's Judy um, Appleman here, living here, and that's her little dog. I think it's Sophie. Or Sophia. Anyway, we'll, we'll go down to the end of the block and that'll inter, interface here with uh, North Fine Street. We'll go right up the sidewalk here. And up here at the top, right as we get to the top straight ahead, is a big brick house. And that's the house I actually grew up in from age zero to about maybe four. Uh, my mother and I lived with her parents and one of her brothers right here in the big old brick house. So lots of memories there. That'd be Ed and Bessie Traeger. My grandparents. And this little blue house to the right here is where Kevin grew up. Off to the right here. And we're getting close to Lincoln Drive where I live here. Hi, John. And off to the right here is Lincoln Drive. And I'm the second house on the left. With a big uh, boarded window. That's a whole nother story get into that some other time. See it's boarded up there. A uh, little rock, or not a rock, but a piece of wood. The guy that mows the lawn, he caught a piece of wood and it flung it through that window. And uh, oh man, did that make a noise. But waiting for the uh, repaired window to arrive and be installed. And speaking of broken stuff my clothes dryer broke down a couple days ago so I'm going old school here I'll show you back here on the clothesline we're doing it old school It'll be another week before the uh, new dryer arrives so 
anyway, I'm glad you rode along on the on this uh, little tour around West Union.